Hello, I'm back. This is the first one I'm doing. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm either back or hello. <laughs> I've lost track of what videos I've done. Anyway, I am prepping for my next market. So the next market, thank goodness, I, I now have two weeks at least, uh, or I had two weeks from the previous one, whereas uh, the the one before that and the previous one were just a few days apart, you know, five days apart or something. So I have um, I'm prepping. Um, if you've seen my previous video, you'll see that I did uh, well, you know, at the last one, which means I've got quite a lot to um, replenish. So I've started with these cutie pies, these um, mini triceratops. I so love them and they are very popular. They, these do really well. Of course, I'll put the pattern the tutorial, rather the link to the tutorial for these in the um, description of this video. They are really, um, you know, I say quick. They're not quick for me. They'll, they'll be quick for other people. I take a long time. With, I take an hour to do each one um, because I'm still a little bit slow, but I I guess I'll get faster. Um, anyway, so um, if you haven't done these, if you haven't made these yet, they're really worth making. They're fantastic. Um, and then I made a, I sold out of leggy frogs, uh, except for two of the sort of uh, plush, not plush, um, the two velvety purple ones lavender ones and one of those i gave to one of the uh, a young guy so the previous market was at a high school and afterwards um this young guy came or one of the students they were going around offering to help pack up which was really sweet really lovely and um he mentioned well he said you know just to let you know uh, your things your plushies are really cute or something like that and he said he was wanting to buy one, but he'd left his money at home and otherwise he would have bought a leggy frog. And he was, you know, helping me. So I said, well, how would you like a, a leggy frog in return for helping me with <laughs> my stuff? So he, so he was keen on that. So he was thrilled and um, it was so lovely to help, to have help getting the stuff to the car. And so one leggy frog got a good home there. And so I have one just one left and so i now i've made another two since then that one and that one and i will make more as well and i've also made um an axolotl buddy so uh made with the chenille yarn and a 3.75 hook um so that's the smallest i could get it without using acrylic yarn and then I put it, of course, on a buddy thing. So I'm going to try and make some more of those. And then I also made this turtle. Which I love the turtles. They're so lovely. So again, so this pattern um, or this um, tutorial, I'll put the link in the description. Um, the one thing is it doesn't um, include a tail. So the first couple I made with them I added the tail afterwards but now all I do is when I get to this bit I just do six chain and then um, slip stitch into three of them and then just do a, a single crochet oh, no, how did, is that how I did it oh dear no no, no. it did three chain no four chain sorry i'm sorry i should have made a note of this okay i did i think i did four chain and then slip stitch into three of them and then a single crochet so then the tail is just there like that and you don't have to sew it on and um i think that's how it works i will i will confirm that when i make the next one anyway so that's that one and then i also made this one uh, these little ones are really cute, made from the chenille yarn. So this one is um, Sweet Snuggles, Sweet Snuggles. And then these are, are um, Parfait Chunky. And then there's the even smaller one. So this is the same size yarn, but with um, a four, four and a half, three, 
Boy, I'm so sorry. I really should make a note of the size hook. Um, a smaller hook. <laughs> made it the size. I will make note of it. But this one took me like two hours. Isn't that ridiculous? It was like two hours because what happened was <laughs> I did it. This is supposed to be a really quick thing. And it is, except for uh, when I'm doing it. Because I, um, when I was doing the head, I kept ending up with... Um, too too few stitches i didn't have in, enough stitches at the end so i had to keep undoing it redoing it recounting it, it's crazy i don't know how that happens um with me i can only think that with this kind of yarn i'm not seeing a stitch properly or something like that i must be missing them anyway but then what happened then i did the the shell and then i did the um adding these the legs and doing this bit the tummy but at one point i did it and then then i thought oh no the ridge is missing again and i thought oh i must have done it wrong because you got to do it in the back loop and all of that and i thought i must have done that wrong so i undid the whole thing took the legs off undid and then realized it only looked like the ridge was missing because i had the shell inside out <laughs> so I redid it. Anyway, it was back and forth quite a lot, and but it is very cute. I think it's adorable, and it's very soft, and it just feels really nice. So um, it was worth all the trouble, and hopefully future ones won't be as <laughs> as um, fraught with uh, adventure. So that's all I've done since... Um, since the market on Saturday and today is Wednesday um, and so I have I had this weekend free which I'm so grateful for so um, I had this weekend free so other than my thumb hurting a little bit so I do need to take breaks and take it a little bit easy apart from that I'm free to um, to restock so I will uh, get on with that and editing La the last market video and i will see you shortly hello i'm back and uh, so today is wednesday and the market is on saturday so i've been doing some more market prep and um i believe i showed you last um in, in just a moment ago uh this turtle and so this turtle and then um one of the babies oh, <laughs> babies okay so i've done a few more um i've got that little one little uh green and um this looks red in the um on camera but it's actually a bright pink so bright pink and and green and then um this one i don't know if i've shown you this one already i've lost track of how many i've shown you and then that one so that's what i have for those turtles and then <laughs> I did this one. <laughs> Look at that. So this is my big turtle. Very, very huggable. So this one is from I love this. I love the hugging and and these the his flippers feel so lovely and soft. So I did this one from um I don't want to stop hugging him now crochet crochet by jenna um it's her human sized turtle uh, tutorial and i'll put a link of course to it in the um in the description of this video <laughs> so, so lovely uh so anyway we got him and um and i just want to show you what it looks like with him and then this one and then, and then, this one. How cute do they look on top of each other like that? <laughs> so there we go. Now he, um, this big one. Oh yeah. So so pricing wise, I think I'm gonna do um, these. I usually charge twenty for. This is the kind of normal size, and then the little ones. I'm thinking of charging um, twelve or fourteen because they still um take me a while because of course it is the same pattern it's just less um 
yarn. And then him, I was, I think I'm going to, I think I saw a, a comment from Crochet, Crochet by Jenna that she now, she charges $200 for these. And I think that's, um, she, she does them, um, you know, ordered, uh, uh, made to order kind of thing. And that, and of course hers are brilliant. My, this is my first one. So he's not perfect. Um, and I think I'm going to put the price tag on him for 140 or maybe 150. I'll see. Um, and I'm not expecting to sell him is my point. Um, so I want to put him. He's, of course, mainly to bring to draw attention uh, to the booth and to, to just look good. And um and he will have a price tag on him in case someone wants to buy him, but I'm not expecting him to sell. So I'm not worried about pricing him, um, you know, to sell. So those are those. So now we have a leggy frogs. I've got that one and I've got that one. Those are the only two I've made so far. I need to make many more of those because uh, they all sold out except for two purple ones and I actually gave one of the purple ones to um, someone to one of the kids who helped me pack up so I need definitely need more of those I have made another axolotl just a, a regular one and I have made a another axolotl buddy um so and I, I, so that's the pink one again. This looks red, but it's actually bright pink. The uh, the gills and the tail, and um, so that's that. And I have the blue one of these as well. So I only have two of them, but and then I have more pop mushrooms. So I've got a light light blue one, fluffies, a uh, light blue one, and a light pink one. <laughs> And then I've got three little red ones. There's that one, that one, and that one. So those three, I see if I can make more of them. And I have a baby. I need to make some more. And then I have a regular bee, um, which I've just made the wings. And so I'll need to sew those on next. And then I saw um, I saw someone doing scrunchies. I've seen people doing scrunchies before, but um, this one um, there was a tutorial, and it's just so quick and easy the way she was doing it. And so, thank you so much to Jessie Ann Crochet for for the tutorial and the advice on the scrunchies. I'll put a link, of course, to that tutorial in the description of this video as well. So I, I didn't have much in the way of um, fluffy yarn when I um, when I watched that tutorial and I swiped some of my husband's hair ties because um, the ones I use, I use scrunchies, but he uses hair ties. So um, he gave me some of his to get started. I have ordered um, more of them so they should arrive tomorrow um, but these I had this kind of eyelash um, yarn that I wasn't sure if it would work because it's really thin so it takes a lot more of the single crochets to um, you know to, to fill the thing but uh, but it is really soft it does work really nicely so I've got those and then I had ordered oh and and I also had this yarn which is from the Dollar Tree which is a little bit fluffy um it's it's not as fluffy and then I ordered from Amazon um some pink fur yarn and some blue fur yarn and that is amazing that goes so quickly so these took me about 20 minutes each to do and these took six minutes each <laughs> so I want to order more of this kind of yarn and um and of course the hair ties coming so I've ordered like a pack of 150 or something so I'll do some of those I'm thinking of charging oh I didn't do prices for the other things okay um I'm thinking of charging three dollars per thing or um what did I say? Three dollars per thing, or four for ten dollars? Does that work out? Yes, 
so you save two dollars something like that i think that's what i'm going to do i will um let you know if i do that and so all the other things the pop mushrooms are eight dollars oops the bee the baby that is just dive to the floor um I think I'm going to make that one six dollars because these are eight dollars, the slightly larger ones. What else did I? Oh, um, these I think will be twelve dollars. Um, the normal axolotl is fifteen dollars, and I think I've told you the rest in the clip just before this because I think. Oh, and, and the, the the leggy frogs are ten dollars. I think the turtles we did already. All right, so um. I will see you. So now I'm going to just do as much more as I can because um, I have quite uh, quite low inventory still. I'm going to do some more mm, some more bees, some more leggy frogs. Um, see if I can do some more axolotls, scrunchies when I get the ties, when the ties arrive. And um, that's all I can think of right now. Oh, I know what I thought I'd do. I'll go through my book. Um, from the two-day market and then from last uh, from the the next one um, and just go through what's what I sold so that I know what I need to replace that was the idea I came up with I think that's a pretty good idea and I will see you on Friday just before um, the day before the market okay see you see you just now hello I'm back all right so um <laughs> it's Friday afternoon, uh, three o'clock, and the market is tomorrow. And I had to literally make myself stop crocheting to do this video and to enter um, everything into the square because all I want to do is carry on crocheting and make more and more stuff. But um, I know that I need to get this done. So um, now, I don't know if I've shown you this already, but there's an axolotl buddy. Yeah, I remember showing you that. Okay, so I'll edit that out. Um, there's a new pop mushroom, a sort of chunky one, um, blue. A little pink pop mushroom. Okay, and then we have... Um, I tried a, uh, a very large octopus, and I think I got it wrong. <laughs> Clearly, I got it wrong because um, it's got eight legs, but there are none in the front. <laughs> to hear another ah, so anyway, um, it's not, uh, it's not perfect. But um, and the eyes are too low. I made a mistake. I should have. I should be up here somewhere. But anyway. There it is. It's done from Sweet Snuggles with a um, size nine hook. And I am thinking I will charge 20. It's not perfect. Maybe $18 for it. Maybe $15 for it. I think 15 Okay. And then we have the Triceratopsis. Oh, how cute are they? This one is longer for some reason. I, I think, again, I was watching videos and I think I got carried away and did an extra row by accident. And then there's this one, this blue one, which is short. And then there's the lavender one, which is kind of in between. <laughs> they're all different lengths. But anyway, um, I think they're really cute i'm very happy with them and when you see them all together oh and of course the pattern the, uh, the link to the tutorial tutorial will be in the um, description of this video and then i have made this is what i had to stop myself from continuing with um more of these white speckled chickens because they went very quickly at that two-day market um so there they are, <laughs> um, the Mabel chickens, and again, the pattern, the link to the pattern will be in the uh, description of the video, of course. That's all I have um, since I spoke to you a moment ago, and um, I am going to now enter every all the new stuff into Square as quickly as I can so that I can get back to crocheting. I want to make more chickens. Um, 
I'll do some in the different color yarn. And then I want to make, um, there's so much I want to make. I want to see if I can get some key rings done and um, um, maybe some more salotls. I just, there's not enough time, <laughs> but uh, I'll just do the best I can. Uh, this market tomorrow is, um, it'll be interesting to see what it's like. I think it's, it is a kind of shopping for Christmas kind of market and they are going to have activities for the kids and that. So hopefully that, that bodes well. And it's about an hour away. It's only from 11. Uh, so it's 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I will be, and set up is only from nine. So you can't get the, you know, you can't set up before nine. So I'm going to, um, I'm, I'm going to try and get there before nine and then maybe go to a McDonald's and have coffee or something so that I'm there. And then I'll crochet some more. <laughs> all right. Um, so I think that's all I have to update you on. Um, I've already signed up for, well, not signed up, but I've already put my name down. They put me on the list for a market for next, uh, for the spring in May, uh, 4th and 5th of May, which I'm very excited about. And um, yes, I think that's all I have to update you on today. Um, I will see you in the morning, which for you, of course, will be just now. Hello, I'm back. All right, so it is now Wednesday. The market was on Saturday and um, it wasn't as busy as I had expected, but I did sell some stuff. So I'm very grateful for that. And the people were really, were really nice. A lot of people, uh, a lot of lovely comment, uh, compliments. Um, the other vendors were all lovely and um uh, one in particular uh, who bought two chickens and a pickle from me. She was absolutely lovely. Um, I got such a fright. Uh, when I was setting up, I was kind of putting everything out and I suddenly heard, oh my God. And I was like, what? And she was going, oh, the chickens. And so that was really, really lovely. And um, so I had a really good time, even though uh, the afternoon got a little... Um, uh, a little difficult because it was so it was pretty quiet but um i of course was crocheting the whole time and that makes all the difference and they had someone selling coffee which is plus because um most of the places i've been to there's no coffee available so i appreciated that so here's what i sold um in order of selling so this is my book as you can see there's not a huge amount but there is oh i didn't add it up <laughs> i will add it up and then I'll come back to you. All right. So in order of sales, <clears throat> we have one white chicken, $15 by Venmo, one baby turtle, a green and bright pink one for $12 cash. I, I won't tell you cash Venmo. There were one, two, three, four Venmo sales, one card and the rest is all cash. How about that? All right, so baby turtle green and bright pink for $12. Two baby triceratops, the blue and the light pink for $16. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're $8 each. Um, the blue whale finally sold. And uh, a small octo, uh, small pink octopus. So those two uh, were bought by the same person. Uh, then a mushy pop, a red mushy pop for $8. Oh, sorry. Blue whale was $12. The small octopus was $5. Uh, and then a mushy pop, a red mushy pop for $8. A, uh, and then a... Oh, yes. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what this was. The chunky pink octopus with the long legs. Um, that one was sold for $15 and by the same person bought two small octos, a yellow and a pink for $5 each and a mini octo for $3. So the total of that was uh, $28 that sale. 
Um, then a the new multicolored chicken that I have that sold for fifteen dollars. Then and um, then the other vendor bought the black speckled chicken for twelve for fifteen dollars. Sorry, and a, and the pickle for twelve dollars. Uh, then another white chicken sold for fifteen dollars and another mini octo red one for three dollars a baby triceratops the dark blue one for eight dollars um two mushy pink mushy pops for eight dollars each and another black speckled chicken for fifteen dollars so the chickens were the um, best sellers and um i am making more of those now for the next one so the total uh, for that market was 195 dollars um, not much in the way of uh, fees on the card because there was only one card payment. So um, there's there's not a lot uh, in the way of square fees. So $195, the booth fee, I believe, was $45, I think, $45. So um, the balance of that is $150. So it's okay. And um, I'm grateful to have some um some sales and in addition to that the vendor who bought the two chickens and the pickle who was so lovely uh she's also doing a uh, she's organizing her own event on february 17th um and she asked me if i would do that event so i'm thrilled about them looking forward to it and um uh, that'll be fun and so i think that's it and now i'm going to film the market prep for this next coming market. So the next market is this Saturday and I will do the video for that now. And I'll see you in that one.